All right, so I finally got my lip in for the Miata. I'm gonna bust this thing open, see what she looks like. Let's see here. I gotta say, for 55 bucks shipped, I mean, this is probably how much the shipping alone costs, so. Pretty awesome. And then the fact that they don't fold, they don't fold it into pieces, which is kind of cool. Most places fold it in half, which really sucks. And they also include hardware, which is kind of cool. It's pretty neat. I like how they have the stanchions to kind of hold it together. I'm not sure how that's supposed to fit, but whatever. And I obviously already cut my bumper, so I'm going to have to make sure this fits. If it doesn't, I have another front bumper, so it's not really a big deal. But we'll uh, install this right now. I already kind of sized it up but I also already cut my front bumper. So I'm gonna see how well it fits with this. If I don't like the way it sits or uh, where the cuts end, then I obviously have a backup. So we're gonna see how it looks here. If I don't like it, then we're gonna swap it over to this one and then uh, paint it to match and then get rid of this guy. So here we go. So I can kind of already tell that this isn't going to work with what I need on this bumper. So I'm going to try it out on the other bumper and see how well it fits that one. So let's get this guy connected and we will go from there. So I got the two ends installed. Now I'm going to drill some holes for the rest of the mounting points and we'll go from there. Alright, I'm going to probably cut a little bit like this and then up and around and over, maybe even right here and then put some holes here. haven't really decided yet. But so far I'm liking the way it looks. I obviously do not recommend you taking the bumper off just to do this because trust me, taking the bumper off of this car is a complete pain in the ass. But for today's tutorial, I'm definitely going to say that this is by far the easiest install you're gonna have if the bumper is on the ground. All right, so now to do some marks, cut this hole out. I kind of like the way the top line is on that one so I'm going to transfer that line over to here maybe not as high up probably about right here and then I'm going to have it come down and around to here and then we should have a nice opening in the bumper and then we'll cut this part off so I scribe some lines here that'll be my cut line I'm going to come up with it like this right on that edge maybe a little higher to get rid of these holes and then uh, we're going to cut that out and we should have our mouse if you've ever cut anything with a cutting wheel one of these guys here well that's a buffing wheel but cutting wheel on metal you know that they send out a lot of sparks and it will very easily damage your eyes and your skin because it burns like hell but if you're going to cut plastic then by all means you want eye protection hearing protection and long sleeves because it's going to send off pieces of molten plastic and that stuff isn't like metal where it'll hit your skin and your skin instantly cools off the metal bead the molten plastic will actually stick to your skin and burn you really really badly so definitely wear long sleeves, eye protection, and hearing protection because these guys get loud. So that plastic uh, is definitely chlorine based because the fumes coming off of it are just horrible. So you don't want to breathe that in. Now I can go in and clean all this up make it look nice and smooth, and then paint it to match the gray on the original bumper. Now I'm gonna pull this bumper off, put that bumper on, we'll get it all masked up, and then paint it to match the gray. Don't you love it when you're painting and there's no wind all day long until you actually start spraying paint? But 
All right, primer's done. Now we'll let it sit. All right, so I got the bumper off. Got the new one finished, painted, and letting it cure right now. Kind of like the way it looks, actually. It's pretty Mad Max. Almost looks like an AE86. That is drying, then we'll put it back on, and then we'll go from there. Pretty sure it's dry by now, so I'm going to pop the hood and get this thing popped back on. Hopefully, it doesn't hit my fat ass rims. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to cut some more of it off. So far, it's hitting. Just have to see how it lines up and here's how it looks all finished i really like the fitment obviously it's going to need some plastic to kind of seal in this section and create a actual draft onto the radiator i'll deal with that once i get the oil cooler installed but i really like the way it fits for 50 bucks shipped you can't beat it i'm gonna have to put some kind of support there like i said this thing is pretty nice for what you're paying for could be a lot worse, obviously, with eBay. For what it is, I'm super stoked. I like the look. It really brings the front end together, makes it look a lot lower, connects the front unlike before. And I even put the fenders back on so I can get old people to stop asking me if I can't afford fenders or not. I think it looks pretty good. So there we go. If you like the video, click the like button. If you don't like the video, comment below why you don't like the video so I can change it up a little bit or do something different. I'm always about constructive criticism, but just being a troll is no fun for anybody. So like I said, if you got something positive to say, put it down below. If you got something constructive to say, put it down below and let's see what you got. And then I'll change the videos accordingly. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share on social media, sign up for my giveaway, send that robot out to somebody soon. Thanks for watching. Keep modding.